Hey, what's good, YouTube family, man? This shit, God bless. One, thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop. Yo, look out for your boy right quick. Go hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe and comment. I'll comment and reply back. Come be part of the family of I Smoke Hip Hop Nation. Salute. Let's get started, man. Rest in peace to that boy, little Nooski, Nunu, Nooski, whatever you want to call him. OTF Nunu, OTF Nooski. Man, on that unfortunate day of May in 2014, when this guy got succumbed to his life, um, rest in peace to Mubu Crump too. I'm not gonna go in details right now about Mubu Crump saying Little Dirk was there, Little Dirk ran away. You know, I think on this type of video, I gotta be more respectful and just go more deep. Now, to the people who told me to do this video, shout out to y'all. I need to check on my emails a little bit more. Y'all go in the links in the description box if there's anything you want me to do, any videos. I even do free pro uh, promo based on what you're doing. Hit me up in that description box and go to my emails on my other social media platforms. I'll get back at you. But Nooski was set up by that female you guys seen in the picture. Right now on this video, we're just going to talk about it. I'll give you guys the glitz, the fame. I'll give you guys the video proofs, the evidence. On this video, I just wanted to talk out with y'all and what y'all needed to know. The main thing y'all needed to know was the location. How did they get the location of Nooski? I'm here to tell y'all, man. Unfortunately, that female that you seen that was in the pictures... You know what I'm saying? She took the IG uh, pictures down real quick after Nooski got killed. Rest in peace to that boy. She took all her infos down immediately, but people caught up to her. Word got up. She was right next to Nooski. You know what I'm saying? That day in that mall. I hope y'all know that. She was inside. She got out the vehicle, went in the mall, and he still was in the whip. You dig what I'm saying? This shit was a clean, cold setup from the start. You can't make this up, man. That little Tatiana got the talking to whoever she got the talking because she had a cousin called uh, Darlene. Darlena or Darlene. I know she's a Mexican, but she's in Chicago too. Y'all know Chicago got a lot of Mexicans. Shout out to the Mexican family. Uh, my nephew is half Mexican and Haitian. I fuck with Mexicans heavy, heavy. But I mean, down over here, man, People already got the drop on it. Her own people put her out and said the same people from 051 she was fucking with. Allegedly, we're going to say, I don't want to get nobody indicted. That's why she ran away when everybody from the op side started posting her info. Niggas was writing, thank you. Niggas was telling her good looking now, shit like that. And I'm going to be fair. I'm going to play devil's advocate. Niggas can do... A lot of grimy things just to make it, you know what I mean, appear that she's not an op, but she's fucking with Front Street. Like, I don't even have to know your people. But if they have, like, a post up, I could just get up on there and be like, shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? And that right there will make people, oh, they cool with each other. But when her own people, her own blood, is like, it ain't no trolling. These niggas fucking with her heavy, heavy. She everywhere. You did what I'm saying? So now you got to look at, all right, if baby girl shorty was over there, niggas is saying Dirk did this, Dirk X, Y, and Z. But still, even if Dirk was there or not, we know Dirk ain't giving out the location to his own blood. That ain't his regular cousin, second cousin. That's his first cousin. Same grandma, same uncles and aunties, all that, all that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they even look like each other. Shit. First time I started jamming to the Chicago wave back in um, oh, um 2011, 2010, I thought Nooski was his damn um, brother. That's how identical they is. I mean, it's just, it, like, this is before everybody was, rest in peace to 051 Melly. The little Dirk situation with his cousin passing away, OTF Nunu, this was before all that. This was before 051 Melly backdoor and all that. This shit been going on. It happens in every city, every hood. But, you know, Chicago, I feel like all these guys, rest in peace to FBG Brick as well. Rest in peace to Dooski. 
You know what I'm saying? Get well soon, uh, soon Wooski. Shout out to Mimo. I'm glad you up there. You know, you doing your step dance again. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you for reaching out to me on the Instagram. Shout out to Mimo 600. You know, I don't pick no sides. Niggas be commenting, you ain't supposed to pick sides. But you whole ass niggas do be picking sides. That's why I make sure I separate myself from you whole ass niggas. You dig what I'm saying? Now back on track to the Nooski. Nooski got set up bad, man. And old girl, to this day, she can't come on the spot no more. They tried to whack her two different times. Word is, her her people been getting wiped out. Rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle. When Nipsey Hussle got gone, Eric Holder, um, his entire brothers, all of them, I think only one is surviving left. Cousins, everybody got it. Even, his, even Eric Holder's daddy got killed. You know what I'm saying? That shit get deep. Like, I know Tay Rock got his chain snatched or whatever. But they took that white girl or whatever and had the picture of her drugged up or whatever on that. And I made sure I said T-Rock is a duck for it. But at the same time, I don't feel sorry for that female. Because if you play a dangerous game like that, setting up people, all the hell that got to come with it, you got to sit there and face it and take it. You put yourself in that mess right there. Nobody forced you. Nobody said this what it got to be. You wanted to play them games and niggas like, oh, if I can't reach them. I'm going to reach you. <laughs> and they reach you already. Well, they, they ain't reach you like that, but they reach you to your heart. They touching this girl's brothers, cousins, everything. They're already wiped out. They like It ain't like they didn't know where she from, where she is, this and that. Like They know everything about her. So it got to be some eternally deep. Like She fucking up the ops or something. It ain't just I'm cool with the ops. You fucking the ops. You dig what I'm saying? So it's like one of them is your baby daddy or a nigga you in love with, a nigga that popped the cherry. I don't know, but it got to be something deep to make her play uh, um, them dangerous games like that. I don't want to say the other word because of YouTube algorithm. Man, I'm done with this, man. I had to just clarify that to the people who don't know the situation on that sad day of OTF Nunu, Lil Dirk's cousin Nooski. You feel what I'm saying? It's It's a tragedy. Man, to keep her a stat with you, all this Chicago death is tragedy. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, Crip business saying, man, if we can come together. But I don't know, bro. When blood's been shed, I'm a nigga that understands. You can't just make everybody kumbaya and come be friends. This ain't the movies, dog. Niggas is hurting. Even after nigga get his lick back, niggas still want to get more lick back after that. Because your people can't come back. No matter how much get back you do, hashtag get back game. Your people are never coming back, bro. Maybe in a spiritual form of that electricity, but they gone, dog. So if we could just start thinking more rashly, I think that's what it is. We be so quick to get out with the blicky. Niggas be afraid just to speak, bro. So maybe if we could speak and we can handle our business together in this life and not that afterlife. You feel me? Because I feel like this already hell. I'm not going to even tell y'all all. Oh, don't, don't die. That. Sometimes I be... Thinking back, like, you know what I'm saying? If I didn't have kids or nothing like that, nothing crazy, i just be like, my life been so good, I've been so blessed. If I should fall down right now, I won't look at it as a significant loss other than not seeing my family or kids no more or not be out here to raise my kids. Y'all, y'all catch what I'm saying. Y'all catch the drift. <laughs> blessed when I love the life. And I ain't on some depression shit. I'm just keeping it a stack. Life is life, so you make the best of it. I made the best of mine, so I could... Look at my maker and understand time is time. Like Julio Fulio said, man, everybody got to die. Everybody got to date. You can't fight that shit. You just got to handle it and stand on your square with this shit, man. Y'all hit that like, that comment, share, subscribe, man. Make sure you comment till I get back with you. I'm your God bless one. Love your family. Love your kids. Stay blessed.